All right, let's get some recording done. Chills every single time. Ready? Go! Executing. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Grand Star Legion. It's your boy CD Rom 1019, and I'm bringing you Sonic and the Secret Rings today. I'm super happy to bring this to you guys. Uh, I love this game. Um, I know this is a hot take for a lot of people. Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic and the Black Knight were not universally panned. Um, it, there's uh, pros and cons to this game, but I say this without a hint of sarcasm. I absolutely love this game. Uh, this engine is so cinematic. It's one of the things I love about this game. I think this is a really fun story, and uh, we're going to play it today. And I hope you're ready to strap in for an adventure, because we got a wild one for you. So let's uh, jump into it. Brand new data. The world of the Arabian Nights are in turmoil. Let's go save them. All right, we've got an eight-part prologue here. Let's get things started. Is it that late already? What time is it? Huh? You are the blue hedgehog. Ah, what the? D do not be alarmed. I am Shara, the genie of the ring. You know, like Aladdin in the magic lamp. Don't think I've read that. What? You've got to be kidding me. It's the best story of all the Arabian Nights. Or at least the second best. But that's besides the point. Please, look at this. Hey, the page is blank. Our world, the world of the Arabian Nights, is vanishing. Vanishing? But how? This is the work of an incredibly evil spirit. The Eraser Jin. Eraser Jin? Yes. He used his evil magic to become even more powerful. He could not bear to simply remain in the book any longer. And so he has begun to set the inscriptions free, absorbing the power of the book itself. The power of the book? If our world ceases to exist, then not only will those stories be silenced forever, but the Eraser Jinn will then be unleashed into your world. That definitely sounds like trouble. But what do you want me to do? I want you to stop him. You must stop the Eraser Jinn. Only you, the Blue Hedgehog, can do it. Hmm. So this guy needs someone to put him in his place, does he? I suppose I can help out with that. It might even be fun. But this is all just something out of a storybook, right? How am I supposed to do anything about that? That's easy. You are my master, having called forth the genie of the ring. As such, I am able to grant your wishes. Simple wishes, at any rate. Bringing you into the world of the Arabian Nights is within my power. What? Inside that book? Now 
Now please, place the ring on your finger. Like this? Ouch! Hey, take it easy. My apologies, O oh Master. But now the contract has been sealed. Contract? Yes. As Master of the Ring, I am now bound to protect you. Now, rub the ring. Like... like this? Oh, Master of the Ring, what is thy wish? Hut choo Hut choo How about a handkerchief for starters? Make that a few. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. You see... I caught this cold yesterday, and... Please, be serious. Okay, okay. Thanks for the hankies, though. Oh, please. Someone tell me that this isn't really happening. All right. Let's go. Take me to this world of the Arabian Nights. As you wish, Master. Quit it, will you? My name's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Very well, then, Sonic. The legendary hedgehog. Here we go, into the world of the Arabian Nights. Okay. Now this is first class. Here we go. Right, and so it begins. So, admittedly, this game has a bit of a slow tutorial. The, um, it's not skippable, it's in eight parts, it drags a little bit, but we're gonna get through this. So you're probably already seeing why some people have, um, some gripes with this game. Now, it, again, admittedly, it's not the most beautiful looking Sonic game, and that's fine with me, but this, um, I don't think I've ever gotten a silver medal on that level. <laughs> nice. So this game works on a completely different engine. It's it's uh, it's um, Sonic is on a rail. He's fixed to always move forward unless you're braking or trying to backstep. But there's very little uh, control on movement in this game. Sonic will always be continuing on the path regardless. Um, and I don't really mind that as much. Uh, there's they they did they played with a lot of things in this engine to make it really cinematic. Um, and you'll see that as we go forward. You're probably also noticing right off the bat that Sonic does not move very fast initially. He's kind of, he's a little lethargic, we'll say. But, um, that's not going to be that way forever. In fact, Sonic's going to get much faster as time goes on and we, we level him up. Yes, this game has a leveling and skill system that will absolutely come into play and you'll see how it happens. And if uh, some of the transitions look choppy, that's because I'm I'm mashing uh, the buttons on the Wii remote to, to get things moving here. Paragraph 3. Three, two, one, go! Occasionally, you'll see me just do random jumps just to try and force Sonic to get a little bit of extra momentum. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it helps until we can get whoop, better skills to use. You might also notice that his jump and dash animation are different than the industry standard for Sonic. And that's absolutely true. He doesn't curl up into a ball on his jumps in this game. And his homing attack works entirely differently, too. You'll see that come into play shortly. And yes, the main theme of the game plays just a little bit too often. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! You can 
can do a homing attack while jumping when the lock on mark appears. So, homing attacks, as you can see, work way differently. They work on a green and red target, uh, targeting reticle system as opposed to an invisible targeting system, which is helpful. Uh, that lets you know... It's helpful in the way that lets you know when you can safely do a homing attack as opposed to other games, in which case sometimes you just press the button and really hope for the best. So, not entirely like that here. We're going to continue to keep getting a lot of bronze medals on this um, on this uh, tutorial. That's kind of just the way it goes, mostly because we we're, Sonic's not moving fast enough. All right, halfway done. button to break that was tight. oh we got a gold medal on that one beautiful You probably, as you can probably imagine, breaking is not something we're going to do a whole lot of in this game, but there are moments when I need Sonic to come to a complete stop and we're going to have to have a break option available. More often than not, I'm going to try to slide instead of breaking, but again, certain situations will demand a full stop. Alright, backstepping. Keep the Wii remote tilted back toward yourself to back up. So again, backstepping if is not something that also will be done frequently if the game is being played correctly, or being played ideally, I should probably say. If you're playing it super well, you're probably not going to need to backstep a whole lot, but that option is helpful uh, considering how some of the movement is a little, uh, a little rough. Two more missions to go. Press and release the two button to do a small jump. Two. Don't really know why we needed a small jump tutorial. I think I could have figured that out, but it is what it is. All right, last tutorial mission. Grinding. Also something, um, you'll see me do grind on rails, um. Three, two, one, go. You can grind on places that have squared edges. So, grinding, unfortunately, yeah. something that, oh, wow, why did I do that? Something that's not as that cool, um, in this game as it normally is. That's a little unfortunate. You're probably wondering why Sonic's 180ing all the time. I'm constantly 180ing to make sure that he m maintains momentum while he's on the rail. All right, that's the tutorial. Oh, I still got a silver medal for that. All right. All right, we finally leveled up. We got some skill points that unlocks a, uh, an ability. We got a ring bonus, so we'll start a mission with rings. And the Sand Oasis has been unlocked. With that, this game can officially begin. Okay. So who's this guy who's trying to make the world disappear again? You mean the Eraser Jin? Yeah, that's right. Can you take me to him? There is no need. What do you mean? He's here! What's that all about? Talk about close shaves. Maybe you know where I can get my quill sharpened too? Sonic! That's him! He's the evil spirit who is striking the words of our world from the pages. You! You must be that blue rat that just got added to the story. Don't you know anything? I'm not a rat. I'm a hedgehog. 
I am a razor djinn. I am the one who shall carve up this world as I see fit. Yeah, well, if you're gonna do that, can you at least wait until I'm done reading it first? Sonic? One hundred of the one thousand and one nights have already been wiped clean. And soon, the rest shall join them, night by night. And then, with the seven world rings? Seven world rings? You have gathered the seven world rings for me. Have you not, Shara, my dear? Are you still going on about that? I told you those things don't even exist. And even if they did, I'd never give them to you. Oh, wouldn't you, though? <sighs> I suppose a suitable punishment is in order, then. Look out! Sonic! Aha! <laughs> so, this is how judgment is dealt, is it? Hmm, this should be interesting. You listening? Bring me the seven world rings before the arrow of flame extinguishes. If you do not, huh? your life is forfeit. Next, I think I shall collect the life of King Sharia. <laughs> the king is the creator of the Arabian Nights and the main character of the story. With my speed, We'll just have to make sure we get to him first! So, we now know the reason why uh, Sonic had that fire arrow in all the teasers. And why, uh, and also to why this game was codenamed Sonic Wildfire. Uh, which, by the way, if you've never seen the teaser for Sonic Wildfire, go, go, um... Go give it a look up on YouTube. It's a really neat little teaser they made because uh, this was supposed to be Sonic's first adventure on the Wii. It was. It was really cool. Uh, it eventually got renamed to Secret Rings, but it's really neat. Um, and we've met the Eraser Jin. We know what he's up to. He's looking for the seven world rings that bind the pages of the book together, and he needs them to escape. We don't want to let that happen. So... Now we get to modify our skill rings. Interesting that they give us four of them. This doesn't strike me as a game where we need four different skill rings to use, depending on the situation. But it's it's there, so cool. Uh, so, let's turn on that ring bonus, and then we'll equip the ring, and we are onward. Time to go see if we can find uh, get our, find our way to the city and get, uh, Three, get to King Sharyar. Let's find the king's palace. Yes, let's hurry. Again, Sonic is not going to be moving at his top speed, or should I rather say that his top speed is not entirely very fast. This is bound to change more as the story goes on. And you're also seeing us collect these pearls here. Unfortunately, for about the first third of the game, these pearls do sweet FA. So we're going to collect them for no added benefit right now. Um... They're added there for um, time attack purposes for later when the soul gauge will come into play, and that's when the game will really start to get a bit more fun. But for right now, enjoy the scenery because this Sonic's top speed isn't that great here, so it gives us a good chance to uh, take in the sights of the level as we're traversing it. Watch the pillars. And slide jump. Yeah, I missed that one, but that's fine. I'm not too concerned with fighting a lot of these uh, these spirits. In fact, I probably could have gone around that. We've already hit the, the ring cap of 50 rings. Boxes. Excuse me. Level design is uh, really neat because of the rail system. And that shot, I love that shot. See, that's... It's so subtle, but it, it's it, it's one of the things about this game that I love that makes it so cinematic. Just that that grind, or that um, uh, not grind, that uh, um, that drift rocket excel 
It's just a great shot. We're going to see a lot more like that. It's a dead end. Whoops. Time to make a U-turn. It should be cooler inside. Um, doesn't quite look like it. See if we can grab this fire soul here. This yep, there we go. Fire soul. I was so I was using the rails there to just kind of maintain my momentum going forward. Not it doesn't always work, but sometimes it helps. So believe it or not, in, in addition to Sonic's running speed, the speed of the shimmying action here also increases as the game moves forward. It's not going to be very fast right now, unfortunately, but that uh, if we do, we will have shimmying action in certain levels later, and that uh, will be faster than we're moving right now. out for these spikes. Don't want to fall. Boy, somebody around here really wants us dead. Cinematic as hell. That's a beautiful rocket start. And another drift here. Oh, that's so cool. I wish, I, I honestly wish uh, there were more more of that uh, drift stops, drift stop and starts uh, like in, like that in modern Sonic games. Just past that pier is the town. There it is. Excuse I me, sir. It. Ah, excuse me. I was trying to avoid that. All right, and that's the level. Got us a bronze medal. No big deal. We'll get uh, better medals as time goes forward. And I believe that was enough for a level up. Yep. Beautiful. New skills to come. Mini turbo. Beautiful. So that allows us to get a... Uh, if played correctly, that allows us to get a little um, boost at the start of a level if it's executed correctly. Where is he? Are we too late? Huh? What's Dr. Eggman doing here? Aha! I knew it! This is all another one of your schemes! What is the meaning of this? I am Sharyar, king of this land. Eggman, what are you up to this time? Sonic, wait! You're making a mistake. This is him. This is King Sharyar. Really? Such insolence. Guards, seize this blue spiky thing at once! Where are your men, your highness? Oh, that's right. Let me explain. When the evil spirits appeared out of nowhere, everyone turned and ran. And I was stuck having to hide in that jar. No! Help me! Huh. Well, well. Guess it's time for a little action. We got to King Sharyar, and right after we got there, a Razor Jin got there and took him away, because of course he did. So, we're going to have to go on a quest to go save the king. So, uh, we can only do that by continuing some more missions. So, we have to go through a couple different missions here. One of the keys of the game to getting the World Ring specifically, look for um, Rampage Challenges and Special Missions. Those are usually the keys to either unlocking the mission for the World Ring, uh, if not getting you the World Ring itself. Those are, in, in my experience, those are usually the key. 
but you won't get those without doing several missions in the first place. So we're not going to do every mission in the book, but we're going to look for specific ones in, during this playthrough. Two. Well, that's fine. Uh, that's right, this is a die-hard challenge, so we just need to complete, uh, just get to the goal ring without dying, uh, obviously. Uh, excuse you. I should have break there. I want. I got really greedy there. I wanted that. Uh, all right. Yep. That was my fault. I got really greedy. I wanted that flame soul, and I I executed that wrong. So let's try that again. Oh, I should have grabbed the. Hang on. I I need these rings. There we go. All right. One flame soul, or fire soul rather. Let's see if we can grab the other one. I believe uh, more fire souls equals more unlocks, which also equals more EXP, so not crucial that we get them, but helpful if we get them. How did... Alright, I don't know how I got hurt by that, but... Alright, let's break this time. There we go. That's fine, that's fine if we can... Oh, I missed the silver ring, but that's okay. I think I can make it. Oh, man. Eh, all right. Just got to get up this hill. Get up the hill. Get up the hill, Sonic. There you go. <laughs> I think... All right, we got all three Fire Souls that time, too, so... That's pretty awesome. Didn't really get a medal for it, because I didn't really do it that fast, but that's all right. I've done much better before, but yep, we got all three Fire Souls. More missions unlocked. All right, what can we do next? Special challenge, do not break the jar. Again, special challenges are usually key to unlocking certain uh, really important ones. And the rampage challenges are more often than not key to either unlocking the mission for the world ring, if not giving it to you itself. Three, two, Either way, usually when you see rampage, you, you know that you're getting close. All right, so we got the mini turbo that time. No problem, TV for a second. Oh. Okay, I think I lost the capture for a second, but I think it's going now. Yep. All right. Are you ready? Sure. Let me show you just all right. how fast. No, I'm not going to chance that. see if I can do a okay so that's really hard to do but sometimes you can I didn't get it right but sometimes you can time that correctly so that you um, you target the wrong enemy so that you get to skip one of them a little tricky to do I missed it but and <laughs> I I jumped when I shouldn't have so I kind of broke the I broke the transition where Sonic will uh, will skid to a stop my fault Beautiful. All right. Just made it. Made it through without breaking any jars. All right. That's a level up, and I think we got enough for another one. Yep. Got two skills that time. A turbo boost, which is very helpful. Increases at rate, uh, acceleration rate to top speed increases. And we got the pearl collector, which we're not going to turn on right now because we have no, uh, no use for getting any pearls. Was done for. Tails? What are you doing here, too? Tails? My, my name is Alibaba. Come on, Tails. I know it's you. I'm very sorry. He seems to have mistaken you for someone else. Oh, it's okay. I'm still very grateful that you saved me. 
I might not be very strong, but I've still got some tricks up my sleeve. If you ever need my help in return, it would be the least I could do to repay you. Thank you. If something comes up, we'll be sure to call you. Alright, we've made friends with- Alright, we've made friends with Alibaba. Uh, how he'll come into play, we have yet to see. Alright, another Die Hard challenge is up there. I don't think we need to complete this one. We need to do this special challenge, though. Which is to break five jars. There are five jars scattered around the map, and we need to break every one of them. Let's turn on this turbo boost. When you see those little, uh, those, those wind, uh, like those wind icons, uh, not icons, but when you see kind of like the wind streaks past Sonic at the go, that means that we've gotten the mini turbo, uh, correctly. So that's, uh, it's always good when we see that. We get a little bit of a rocket start. To who jars? Three jars, four jars, and finally, five jars. Okay. Whew. Just made it. Nope. New world unlocked. So we unlocked the dinosaur jungle, but we're not going there yet. We still have business to attend to here in the sand oasis. All right, let's collect some rings. Three, two, one, go! Sometimes Sonic will stall there at the beginning. That's because I tried to do a, a mini turbo and it didn't get uh, it either didn't get recognized or didn't go through. So occasionally you'll see that happen. I'm trying not I'm trying everything I can to make sure that doesn't, but it's gonna happen. Wanna make sure we don't put ourselves in danger's way here. Well, yep. just as I say that I do. Alright. Recovery with our ring there. Rings. There we go. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wasn't expecting the rings to disappear. This was all right. So that mission didn't go that great. That would have been done like 20 seconds sooner if I didn't lose those rings. If you're, if you're, uh, we're hoping to see a lot of gold medals, uh, we're not. <laughs> it's, the game has really, hey, we got the back step, that's helpful. Um, getting gold medals in this game, really tricky. It takes almost, uh, perfect execution all, almost all the time. Uh, and they're much rarer at the beginning of the game when we don't have a whole lot of skills to use either. Alright, Rampage. This should be the key to unlocking the mission for the First World Ring. Let's turn on our new back step. That'll allow us to backflip if we uh, by pressing the jump button as we're back stepping. Uh, makes backward movement a little faster. Not entirely helpful now, but will become helpful eventually. This game will become much harder. Alright, 20 enemies exist and they need to die. Here we go. One, two, forward. Three. Uh, 
Uh, okay. I don't know what happened there. Okay, quarter of the way done. ourselves in danger. You might have also noticed that with the most recent level up, our ring cap increased. Okay, sparkles. Important to look for those because that means that there's a hidden rail. So if you saw that just happen just now and you were a little confused as to why I was suddenly floating, uh, that's why. Want to keep your eyes open for sparkles when you see them. Uh, that, that, that indicates that there's a rail that you, we can jump on. Come on. Whoop. Okay, back step, back step. Some of these some of these spirits don't entirely play fair here. No, nope, I'm gonna hold it here. No, I am too close. There we go. Two more to go. Oh, I don't know if I want to backstep this. Yeah, because that ball was there. All right, here we go. One more. All right, that's 20. Alright, that did not unlock. That might be because I was missing. Yep, because. Okay, so. Uh, I didn't do this Die Hard challenge, and that's why. Yeah. Okay. Yep, so I missed a mission. We don't always have to do all of them, but sometimes we want to do. The more you do, the more chances you have. So when I do this Die Hard mission, this should unlock the, um, the boss. I'm just gonna kind of avoid certain confrontations here because this is a mission about getting to the end without dying. Nope! <laughs> okay, whatever. That was really strange how that worked. Skid! Okay, excuse me, sir. Again, I am not making a big effort to collect all these pearls right now. They will not do anything to help me until later in the game. I, all right, I wanted that fire soul. That's fine. I could afford to do that. All right, ended the stage with no rings, but that's fine because we got there. clock finish within 120 seconds what do we get for new skills the pearl collector the fire step we can turn that on that increases uh, increases the power of the back step so it turns the back step into an attack essentially
Get on the rail. <laughs> Silver ring, but I didn't need it. Not gonna bother getting those other rings. I don't need them. All right, we beat the clock. Just made it. No. Another level up. Quick step that increases our movement to the left and right. It makes it smoother. Very useful. something you see every day, huh? That must be a monster summoned forth by the Eraser Jin. Shara, can't you do something about it with your magic? I'm sorry, Sonic. My magic is no match for that of the Eraser Jin. Okay, then. Guess I'll just have to deal with him the old-fashioned way. And hey, don't look so glum, Shara. I'll have you smiling by the end of this. And that's not me ordering you as your master. That's a promise from me to you. Yes, all right. All right, let's do it. A promise. All right, the Sand Oasis has shown himself. Let's modify our skill ring and take him down. Okay, let's turn on this quick step. We're actually we're absolutely gonna want our left and right movement uh, smoother. This scorpion's got eyes for days. I put that together, Shara. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so what you're seeing me do is trying to see if I can get an early hit in. It's a very hard thing to do. Okay, and what, I, what you just saw me do there, I'm pretty sure you're generally not supposed to be able to do. I got a free second hit in, which uh, normally doesn't happen. Excuse me, Mr. Eyeball, come here. Not done with you. And there we go. This, the uh, sand, uh, sand Scorpion is down. Again, I'm pretty positive it's not supposed to be done that quickly. I think that's a that's an exploit. We just got a gold medal for that, so I never need to come back to that medal. I'm very happy about that. And another level up. All right, we got a new skill that allows movement in the air to become smoother. And a new page in the special book. There it is, Sonic. So that's... This must be one of the seven world rings the Eraser Jin spoke of. Huh? I can't pick it up. Ow! When darkness descends upon the Arabian Nights, the legendary blue hedgehog from another world shall come. Me? Legendary? You've got to be kidding. You're going to make me blush. When the seven rings that control the worlds are gathered, the portal between the worlds shall open. But the life of the collector of the rings 
shall be offered up in sacrifice as the key for that control. That is what is written in the newest chapter of the Arabian Nights. Say what? I'm supposed to be a sacrifice? That I cannot say for sure, but I do believe that these world rings hold the key to some kind of mystery. And I think that we need to collect them to get to the bottom of this mystery. Well, considering that I still have this arrow in me to worry about, I guess I'm in a pinch either way, right? I'm sorry. It's my fault that all of this is happening to... <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. Besides, don't you know how fast I am? Time may fly, but I'm even faster. All right. With the yellow world ring in hand, that is one world ring down. Six more to go. I think that's a good place to stop for now. Thank you all for joining us. When we come back, the dinosaur jungle awaits us. So, in the meantime, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun all things YTR and GSL. And check me out. You don't want to miss me at twitch.tv slash chaoscontrolchannel. I've been CDROM1019. You've been you. We're going to have more fun on the way. See you next week, y'all. Bye-bye.